David Alton, I'm a member of the House of Lords and independent crossbench peer. I've been Professor of Citizenship at Liverpool John Moores University and founded the Roscoe Lecture Series. This was the 169th Roscoe Lecture, but I chaired and moderated probably over 140 of the lectures. And it was about the history of the lectures, but also the bicentenary of the foundation of the Mechanics Institute, which forms Liverpool John Moores University today. And it was founded, in turn, by a group of three Liverpudlians, one of whom was the great William Roscoe, after whom the lecture series was named. So it was very appropriate in this bicentenary year to be celebrating the memory of both Roscoe and the lecture series named for him. It's very difficult to pull out favourite speakers from such an illustrious list, but one of the most moving Roscoe lectures was given by the marvellous Colin Parry. I don't know what I would have done if my son, his son Tim and another boy, Jonathan Ball, were murdered, as they were, by the IRA in Warrington. And what Colin has done since is to dedicate his life to peace building through the peace foundation he created and the charitable work that he's done in Northern Ireland. I was deeply moved by that. It was, a, it was a powerful lecture. But there have been so many people that have spoken so well and talked about so many diverse things. I've written about some of it on my website, so I hope anyone who's interested would take a look. Well, I had previously given a Roscoe lecture, uh, in fact two, so this is a hat trick for me, uh, but it is always strange to be the person having to field the questions rather than asking them, giving the lecture rather than listening to it. Uh, but it was a delight because I, there were so many people here who have been important to me in my life, but also very important in setting up the Roscoe Lectures in the first place and great supporters of the medicine. No one ever thought that the Prince of Wales would agree to do a Roscoe Lecture or that the Dalai Lama would agree to do a Roscoe Lecture or Lech Wenzel would. So you have to ask and sometimes of course you'll get rejections and the important thing then is never to stop trying to keep on going back and asking them until they say yes.